I absolutely love and appreciate my own soul decision of deciding to give a break for myself. Gave me this superpower that I wasn't really comparing myself and my, my past to anybody else anymore. And I have not once regretted that decision up until now. Hello guys, another sit down video in a while. Today I want to talk about the reasons I decided to take time off from UC Berkeley. So, I feel like for the past few weeks, I've been uploading a lot of Reset Diary vlogs, which really means a lot to me because it was a precious month for me and my family to sort of recharge and reset to like exploring around nature, especially because it was sort of in a suburban area. In Korea, it really helped me energize more and de-stress myself from the feeling of being overwhelmed from work, from social life, and from, I guess, taking a gap year as well. If you have only been watching some of the recent uploads, I feel like you might not know that I actually am a supposedly a third year at UC Berkeley, but I am taking a gap year since last spring. So that makes this fall my second semester of my gap slash break from school and I plan to extend my break until the end of spring of 2022 meaning that I would be taking off from school for a year and a half as of now we never know how many more breaks I want to take from school and so I think the last time I really talked about taking a break from school was probably when I talked about my mental health status I think in that video I actually do have it on my channel so if you haven't watched that listening to that video will give a deeper background of where I'm coming from but basically my first semester of my sophomore year and I was doing that semester virtually like everyone else but to taking classes with a 16 hour time difference in Seoul, South Korea. So I have been staying in Korea ever since COVID happened because that's where my family lives. And so ever since COVID and everything, I have been back home. The spring of 2020 when COVID actually started was my first semester of being online, but I feel like that semester was different from any other virtual semesters because it was the first time for literally everybody in the world. Next semester, which is fall of 2021, and things had started to settle down a little more in a way that actually made it worse for me because I think I hadn't really fully understood what it meant to study with that drastic time difference and what type of resources I could actually be engaged in and not engaged in and stuff like that. In that semester, I actually decided to take reduced amount of course load, which I think I can only use it once throughout my four year of college life as an international student because of my visa status. So I decided to take that chance that I could only use it for once in my entire college experience. And that was sort of how low I felt in terms of academic performance and mental health. And I feel like it was also the time for a sophomore existential crisis, not knowing what I actually really want to do for um, post-grad life and if my major actually is the right major for me and all these other existential questions that are brought up. I decided to take a gap year after that semester. It really quite literally changed my life and it was I feel like so far in my life, it has only been 20, 21 and a half years, I think, but the biggest turning point in my life as well. I absolutely love and appreciate my own soul decision of deciding to give a break for myself and time to explore around something outside of academics. Before deciding to take a gap year, I really try to look for resources of people who have decided to take gap years. And there are so many people who decided to take a gap year and explore their interests and get out of their comfort zone and enjoy their life. But I feel like with most of those experiences being pre-COVID and not suitable for my current situation, I thought I wasn't doing the most. As we probably all know, some people decide to take trip around the world, visiting so many countries and do that like solo. Personally, I really like Unjaded Jade and her videos really inspire me a lot. But I think I was also feeling not too confident in a way that I wouldn't give myself that much of a dramatic change, such as giving myself a world tour like that. Up until then, I was never really familiar with that concept of allowing myself to leave in that gap when everybody else you can see around you are actually accelerating. You often feel that you're left behind feeling alone. So I spent a good amount of time whether if taking a break from school was the right decision for me. And I talked to my parents, I talked to my sister because she's my uh, personal therapist slash my best friend and everything. If you're watching this, 
big shout out to you before i dive deeper into why i think you should also decide to take a gap year if you're considering the option i also want to briefly touch upon what taking the gap has actually left me with very first thing i really wanted to do was actually spend a month in this beautiful island in korea called jeju and i feel like a lot of people are also familiar with that because it's often shown in a lot of movies a lot of k dramas going on a month-long trip in jeju was on my bucket list for the longest time ever so i finally decided to take the time to go travel it meant so much to me that i was traveling i wasn't even working then so it was like actually fully immersing myself into traveling which was awesome and after that i think ever since i got oh and after i got back i got the lasik surgery which you can also find the vlog of how the surgery went through and the sort of the recovery process of it in this video that was also a huge milestone for me because i used to have the worst eyesight you could possibly like i would be the one in your friend group who would have the worst eyesight oftentimes when you're in school it's really hard to get the lasik surgery just because you do have to spend a lot of time in front of the laptop taking a time off from school really allowed me to i guess decide to take on the surgery as well also a huge part of it was actually doing youtube i used to do youtube in high school but there was a gap of my I I guess YouTube um, uploads as well in my freshman year of college because I was just simply too busy living life. I really wish that I had vlogged then so I could like look back to those memories. It feels different when you're watching a vlog than just looking through your pictures with your friends on campus and everything like that. So I do miss that opportunity. That experience really made me want to vlog more being while I'm staying here, which also motivated me to focus on YouTube as well. With that, I think I really started to realize that I do really enjoy the process of video production and content making in general. Like I really fully immersed myself into exploring my own creativity, which I feel like often was really ignored in my own sense because all those creative things like paintings, filming, photography, design, those are always held back in my mind. I feel like I always sort of, in a way, oppress myself to focus on academics over creatives and I really wanted to try out different things but I was always afraid of living the traditional trajectory and feeling weird feeling like I'm alone and all of that but I think taking a break really helped me resolve that issue once I decided to take a break I think just the fact that I was already taking a different path than everybody else gave me this superpower that I wasn't really comparing myself and my my path to anybody else anymore i also want to add on that i recently realized i've unexpectedly achieved and manifested all my goals i think the key for me was believing in myself and stopping my overthinking slash worrying cycles which then led to more actions than i could ever imagine and it's just a fact once you make more actions there are more consequences both good or bad so with my confidence and action boost, it came natural that I was seeing more ripple out. Before, I would always kind of see my friends take the traditional path and sort of remind myself that I should also do the same thing. Just taking a slight step back from all the things that we're so used to really helped me take further steps into things that I really wanted to do. So with that, um, I decided to try out a lot of different ambassador programs where social media management and posting was a huge part of the program itself. And so eventually, Eventually, I got to do a TikTok ambassador program where it led me to intern at TikTok. So right now, as some of you know, if you watch my internship vlogs, I'm actually interning at TikTok. I'm halfway through the internship and that also is crazy. I can't believe that it's the end of 2021 already. It feels literally insane, surreal that this year is also coming to an end. I think taking a gap year really got me, pulled me out of my comfort zone in a way that I never really expected myself to take these many new opportunities. I feel like I was always hidden by my own close hindsight. There were always these opportunities that I could seek for, but I never had the fullest confidence, the courage to do so. That's why I also wanted to upload this video around this time of the year because this time in last year was when I was considering either taking a break from school was necessary and if I wouldn't regret it as much. I know some of the schools, most of the schools I think Berkeley too, right now are going through final seasons. By that time, you know, you yourself know the best if you need a break or not. And if anyone watching this video is considering by the slightest possibility 
of taking a gap year but feeling afraid, anxious, nervous if taking that path is the right decision for you I probably can say for sure if that is the right path for you because everyone's journey is different and just because that it was the biggest life-changing decision for me it doesn't necessarily mean that it would be the same for you I think one thing I can say for sure is that being a 20, 21, 22 or at any age of ourselves we really never really know what we truly like most of us never really allowed ourselves to take a break step back and observe ourselves from a distant point of view which actually helps you understand who you are I don't think I actually realized what I liked what I enjoy spending time what I don't enjoy spending time and oftentimes we're really focused on getting the degree graduating on time because we're too invested in these mental deadlines I feel like we are not giving ourselves the beauty of creativity, the beauty of exploration and all these good things that you can and you should utilize and experience in your early 20s. I feel like that should be a big part of your college life. Of course, socializing with everybody and spending time with your friends, your family and all those stuff, those are all really good important things aside from academics of course. But I feel like we often ignore the importance of spending the time alone spending the time with yourself to let you fully understand and learn about you I feel like learn is the perfect word to describe what I want to say in this we learn about all these great things about the things around the world but if we take a step back and ask the question to ourselves how much of myself have I learned? How much of myself do I actually know? At the time I was considering if I should take a break or not, I didn't have a clear answer to that question. And I, for now, with approximately around a year of taking a break from school, I think I can give an answer and the fact that I'm giving myself an ample time to reflect upon the little corners of my life and letting myself explore around things is what really keeps me motivated to do the same thing for the rest of the life even after graduation, even after I get a job, even after I get married or any other huge milestones in my life I feel like in general it has really given me a big life lesson on sort of what attitude I should have in living life in today's video I did heavily focus on my personal journey of deciding to take a gap year and what that has left me with and why I feel like you should also consider taking a gap year and I'm thinking of doing a part two of this video where I actually sort of talk upon the logistics side of taking a gap year and what I did to keep myself organized because it is so easy to be chaotic and unorganized and actually sort of waste your time if you don't have a plan on how to navigate your gap year as well I am planning to do a little more deep dive technical practical side of sort of a gap year guide as well so if you're interested in watching that video please let me know in the comments because that would actually keep me very much motivated to do the video in the coming weeks and thank you guys so much again for watching today's video today's video is really special to me because it was one of the biggest decisions I ever really made for myself and I have not once regretted that decision up until now and so I really hope that gives you um, sort of a different perspective on considering different options in life if you want to also connect on Instagram my Instagram's at underscore jung.ninlee and there I post a lot about my daily things I hope you have an amazing beautiful lovely day or night at wherever and whenever you're watching this video and thank you guys so much again I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye